Pierre Maurice Marie Duhem French PJ Moise Mai Dai M Listen the 9th of June 1861 to the 14th of September 1916 was a French physicist mathematician historian and philosopher of science He is best known for his work on chemical thermodynamics for his philosophical writings on the indeterminacy of experimental criteria and for his historical research into the science of the European Middle Ages as a scientist, Duhem also contributed to hydrodynamics and to the theory of elasticity. Topic: <laughs> Philosophy of science. Duhem's views on the philosophy of science are explicated in his 1906 work The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory. In this work, he opposed Newton's statement that the Principia's law of universal mutual gravitation was deduced from phenomena, including Kepler's second and third laws. Newton's claims in this regard had already been attacked by critical proof analyses of the German logician Leibniz and then most famously by Immanuel Kant, following Hume's logical critique of induction. But the novelty of Duhem's work was his proposal that Newton's theory of universal mutual gravity flatly contradicted Kepler's laws of planetary motion because the interplanetary mutual gravitational perturbations caused deviations from Keplerian orbits. Since no proposition can be validly logically deduced from any it contradicts, according to Duhem, Newton must not have logically deduced his law of gravitation directly from Kepler's laws. Duhem's name is given to the underdetermination or Duhem Quine thesis, which holds that for any given set of observations there is an innumerably large number of explanations. It is, in essence, the same as Hume's critique of induction. All three variants point at the fact that empirical evidence cannot force the choice of a theory or its revision. Possible alternatives to induction are Duhem's instrumentalism and Popper's thesis that we learn from falsification. As popular as the Duhem Quine thesis may be in the philosophy of science, in reality Pierre Duhem and Willard van Orman Quine stated very different theses. Pierre Duhem believed that experimental theory in physics is fundamentally different from fields like physiology and certain branches of chemistry. Also Duhem's conception of theoretical group has its limits, since not all concepts are connected to each other logically. He did not include at all a priori disciplines such as logic and mathematics within these theoretical groups in physics which can be tested experimentally. Quine, on the other hand, conceived this theoretical group as a unit of a whole human knowledge. To Quine, even mathematics and logic must be revised in light of recalcitrant experience, a thesis that Duhem never held. Duhem's philosophy of science was criticized by one of his contemporaries, Abel Ray, in part because of what Ray perceived as influence on the part of Duhem's Catholic faith. Topic: <laughs> Opposition to the English inductivist tradition. Duhem argues that physics is subject to certain methodological limitations that do not affect other sciences. In his The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory 1914, Duhem provided a devastating critique of Baconian crucial experiments. According to this critique, an experiment in physics is not simply an observation, but rather an interpretation of observations by means of a theoretical framework. Furthermore, no matter how well one constructs one's experiment, it is impossible to subject an isolated single hypothesis to an experimental test. Instead, it is a whole interlocking group of hypotheses, background assumptions, and theories that is tested. This thesis has come to be known as confirmation holism. This inevitable holism, according to Duhem, renders crucial experiments impossible. More generally, Duhem was critical of Newton's description of the method of physics as a straightforward deduction from facts and observations. In the appendix to the aim and structure, entitled, Physics of a Believer, Duhem draws out the implications that he sees his philosophy of science as having for those who argue that there is a conflict between physics and religion. He writes, "...metaphysical and religious doctrines are judgments touching on objective reality, whereas the principles of physical theory are propositions relative to certain mathematical signs stripped of all objective existence." Since they do not have any common term, these two sorts of judgments can neither contradict nor agree with each other." p. 285. Nonetheless, Duhem argues that it is important for the theologian or metaphysician to have detailed knowledge of physical theory in order not to make illegitimate use of it in speculations. History of science 
Duhem is well known for his work on the history of science, which resulted in the ten-volume Le Système du Monde, Histoire des Doctrines Cosmologiques de Platon à Copernic The System of World, a history of cosmological doctrines from Plato to Copernicus. Unlike many former historians e.g. Voltaire and Condorcet, who denigrated the Middle Ages, he endeavoured to show that the Roman Catholic Church had helped foster Western science in one of its most fruitful periods. His work in this field was originally prompted by his research into the origins of statics, where he encountered the works of medieval mathematicians and philosophers such as John Buridan, Nicole Oresme and Roger Bacon, whose sophistication surprised him. He consequently came to regard them as the founders of modern science, having in his view anticipated many of the discoveries of Galileo Galilei and later thinkers. Duhem concluded that the mechanics and physics of which modern times are justifiably proud to proceed, by an uninterrupted series of scarcely perceptible improvements, from doctrines professed in the heart of the medieval schools." Duhem popularized the concept of «saving the phenomena», in addition to the Copernican Revolution debate of «saving the phenomena». Greek soizen ta phenomena, soizen ta phenomena versus offering explanations that inspired Duhem was Thomas Aquinas, who wrote, regarding eccentrics and epicycles, that reason may be employed in two ways to establish a point, firstly, for the purpose of furnishing sufficient proof of some principle. Reason is employed in another way, not as furnishing a sufficient proof of a principle, but as confirming an already established principle, by showing the congruity of its results, as in astronomy the theory of eccentrics and epicycles is considered as established, because thereby the sensible appearances of the heavenly movements can be explained, not, however, as if this proof were sufficient, for as much as some other theory might explain them. Thermodynamics. Duhem is also known for his work in thermodynamics, being in part responsible for the development of what is known as the Gibbs-Duhem relation and the Duhem-Margulis equation. Duhem thought that from the first principles of thermodynamics physicists should be able to derive all the other fields of physics—e.g., chemistry, mechanics, and electromagnetism. Duhem, influenced by McCorn Rankin's Outlines of the Science of Energetics, Carried out this project in Traité de l'Energétique but was unable to subject electromagnetism to thermodynamic first principles. With the physicist, philosopher and historian of science Ernst Mach, Duhem also shared a skepticism with regard to the existence of atoms. Topic works 1886. Le potentiel thermodynamique et ses applications à la mécanique chimique et à l'étude des phénomènes électriques, Paris, A. Hermann, 1888. De l'Ementation par Influence. Suivi de Propositions Denais par la Faculté, Paris, Gautier Villars et Fils, 1891. Cours de Physique Mathématique et de Cristallographie de la Faculté des Sciences de Lille. Paris, A. Hermann, 1891-1892. Lacan sur l'électricité et le magnétisme, Paris, Gautier Villars et Fils, Tome I, Tome II, Tome III, 1893. Introduction à la mécanique chimique. Paris, G. Carré, 1894. Sur les déformations permanentes et l'historicis. Bruxelles, IMPR, de Hayes, 1895. Les théories de la chaleur, 1896. Théorie thermodynamique de la viscosité, du frottement et des faux équilibres chimiques, Paris, A. Hermann, 1897-1898. Traité élémentaire de mécanique chimique fondée sur la thermodynamique. Paris, A. Hermann, 1897. Les Melanges doubles, statique chimique générale des systèmes érigènes, 1898. Faux équilibres et explosions, 1902. Le mixte et la combinaison chimique. Essai sur l'évolution d'une idée. Paris, C. No, 1902. Les théories électriques de J. Clerk Maxwell, Etude historique et critique, Paris, A. Hermann, 1902. Thermodynamic et chimie, Lacan's élémentaires à la sige des chimistes. Paris, A. Hermann, 1903. Recherches sur la hydrodynamique. Paris, Gautier Villars, 1903. Les origines de la statique. Paris, A. Hermann, Tome I, Tome II, 1905. L'évolution de la mécanique. Paris, A. Hermann, 1906. La théorie physique. Sun object, saw structure. Paris, Chevalier and Revere, VRIN, 2007, 1906. Recherches sur l'élasticité. 
Paris, Gautier Villars, 1903-13, Etudes sur Leonard da Vinci, Ce qui la lusse, Ce qui l'ont lu, 3 volume, Paris, A. Hermann. Premier Siri, Ce qui la lu et Ce qui l'ont lu, 1906 1 Siri, 2 Siri, Les Precursors Parisiens de Galilée, 1913 3 1908. Josiah Willard Gibbs, A Propos de la Publication de S.E.S. Memoirs Scientifiques, Paris, A. Herman, 1908. Sauver les phénomènes. Essay sur la notion de théorie physique de Platon à Galilée, Paris, A. Herman, V.R.I.N., 2005, 1909. Le mouvement absolu et le mouvement relatif, Paris, I.M.P.R. Library de Montligen, 1911. Traité d'énergétique. Paris, Gautier Villars, Tome I, Tome II, 1913-1959. Le système du monde. Histoire des doctrines cosmologiques de Platon à Copernic, Tome I, Tome II, Tome III, Tome IV, Tome V, Tome V, Tome VII, Tome VIII, Tome X, Tome X La science allemande. Paris, A. Hermann, Articles 1908. La valeur de la théorie physique, Journal de mathématiques pures et appliquées, Vol. 19, pp. 7 19, 1908. C.E.K. L'Onde de des Indies Occidentales avant Christophe Colomb, Journal de Mathematiques Pures et Appliques, Vol. 19, pp. 402 406, 1909. Note, Thierry de Chartres et Nicolas de Cuse, Reviews des Sciences Philosophiques et Theologiques, Troisième année, pp. 525 531, 1911. Sur les petites oscillations d'une corps flottant, Journal de mathématiques pures et appliquées, Vol. 7, 6 e pp. 1-84, 1911. Le temps selon les philosophies Hellens, Part 2, Revue de philosophie, Vol. 19, pp. 5-24, 128-145, 1914. Roger Bacon et le horreur du vide, in A.G. Little, ed., Roger Bacon Essays. Oxford, at the Clarendon Press, 1915. Quelques Reflections sur la science allemande, Revue des Dermondes, Vol. 25, pp. 657 686, 1916. L'Optique de Malbranche, Revue de Metaphysique et de Morale, Vol. 23, No. 1, pp. 37 91, Duhem's Mathematics Papers from NUMDAM Topic Works in English Translation Duhem, Pierre. 1903. Thermodynamics and Chemistry. A Non Mathematical Treatise for Chemists and Students of Chemistry. 1st ed. New York, London, J. Wiley and Sons, Chapman and Hall. OCLC 3383130. Retrieved 31 August 2011. Duhem, Pierre The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory. Princeton, Princeton University Press, 2nd. Ed. 1991. Excerpts, Excerpt 1, and Excerpt 2 Heavenly Bodies, Theory, Physics and Philosophy Physical Theory and Experiment, in Herbert Feigl and May Broadbeck ed. Readings in the Philosophy of Science. New York, Appleton Century Crofts, Inc., 1953, pp. 235 252. Duhem, Pierre. 1969. To Save the Phenomena An Essay on the Idea of Physical Theory from Plato to Galileo. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. OCLC 681213472. Excerpt Duhem, Pierre. 1985. Medieval Cosmology, Theories of Infinity, Place, Time, Void, and the Plurality of Worlds. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. ISBN 978-0-226-16922-4. OCLC 712044683. Excerpt, The Twelfth-Century Birth of the Notion of Mass which advised modern mechanics, and void and movement in the void Duhem, Pierre the Physicist as Artist, The Landscapes of Pierre Duhem. Edinburgh, Scottish Academic Press. ISBN 0707305349 Duhem, Pierre Logical Examination of Physical Theory, Santes, Vol. 83, No. 2, pp. 183–188. Duhem, Pierre 
Research on the History of Physical Theories, Santes, Vol. 83, No. 2, pp. 189–200. Duhem, Pierre German Science. La Salle, Il, Open Court. ISBN 0812691245 Duhem, Pierre The Origins of Statics The Sources of Physical Theory. Dordrecht, Springer Netherlands. ISBN 9789401137538. Duhem, Pierre 1996. Essays in the History and Philosophy of Science. Indianapolis, Hackett Pub. Co. ISBN 978-0-87220-308-2. OCLC 33968944. Duhem, Pierre Commentary on the Principles of Thermodynamics by Pierre Duhem. Dordrecht, New York, Springer. ISBN 978-94-007-0311-7. OCLC 733543752. Duhem, Pierre Maurice Marie. The Electric Theories of J. Clerk Maxwell. Boston Studies in the Philosophy and History of Science, 314. Alan Aversa. Trans. Chom, Springer International Publishing. doi 101007 978 3 319 18515 6. ISBN 978-3-319-18515-6. Retrieved 8 July 2015, Articles Physics and Metaphysics 1893 Physics of a Believer Articles contributed to the 1912 Catholic Encyclopedia History of Physics Pierre de Maricourt Jordanus de Nemour Nicole Oresme Albert of Saxony Thierry of Freiburg Jean de Saxe The above bibliography is not exhaustive. See his complete primary sources and secondary sources at the Duhem entry of the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Topic references Topic Sources Topic Further reading Alexander, Peter The Philosophy of Science, 1850–1910, in D.J. O'Connor, ed., A Critical History of Western Philosophy. New York, The Free Press, pp. 402–425. Aru, Roger Pierre Duhem, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, January 20, 2011. Dawson, Christopher The Scientific Development of Medieval Culture, in Medieval Essays. New York, Image Books, pp. 122–147. Del Tate, Robert J. Man of Science, Man of Faith, Pierre Duhem's Physique de Croyant, Zygon 43 pp. 627-637. Jackie, Stanley L. Science and Censorship, Hélène Duhem and the Publication of the Systeme du Monde, The Intercollegiate Review 21 2, pp. 41-49 Rep. in the Absolute Beneath the Relative and Other Essays. University Press of America, 1988. Jackie, Stanley L. Reluctant Heroine, The Life and Work of Helena Duhem. Scottish Academic Press. Jackie, Stanley L. Medieval Christianity, Its Inventiveness in Technology and Science, in Technology in the Western Political Tradition. Ed. M. R. Zinman. Cornell University Press, pp. 46-68. Collar, Eric Reason and Science, in Man, The Measure. New York, Pantheon Books, Inc. Quinn, Philip L. 1974. What Duhem Really Meant, in Robert S. Cohen and Marx W. Wartowski, eds. Methodological and Historical Essays in the Natural and Social Sciences. Dordrecht, Rydell Publishing Company. Schaeffers, v. 1922. Pierre Duhem et la théorie physique, Revue des questions scientifiques, pp. 42-73. Bordoni, Stefano. 2012. Taming Complexity, Duhem's Third Pathway to Thermodynamics PDF. Urbino, Montefeltro. ISBN 9788885363. Duhem, Pierre 2012. External links Works by or about Pierre Duhem at Internet Archive Obituary, at Science Works by Pierre Duhem, at Numdum MacTutor Biography Pierre Duhem, by Louis Delaunay The Duhem Quine Thesis in Economics, a reinterpretation Pierre Duhem and Thomas Kuhn Duhem's Bull.